Well, those shots are designed uh, beforehand when we do the scout, and uh, and, there's, and then he puts them in the animatic. So there's always the the whip pans and the whip tilts and things. And I actually do all of them off of a fluid head. The secret is because uh, you're always kind of in a corkscrew kind of thing, you know, and and. Uh, you find a really comfortable position with your feet and your body at the end position. So you start in a very uncomfortable position and then you come to that same position where you're comfortable. And it works out pretty well. You know, I can hit them pretty much. Occasionally, you know, I screw up the shots sometimes, but it, it, you know, I feel terrible, particularly when you have these amazing actors and they're really killing it and I screw it up because I don't make them, you know, I don't end up in the right place, you know. But, you know, I bet once you've done it enough and you practice, you can get pretty good at it, you know. But then go in the corkscrew at the beginning and then, and then you find it and you'll probably get it pretty much every time. But luckily, he doesn't use the bad taste. <laughs> Also, I should tell you, occasionally they do a cut in the whip hands. So they can be on you, and if the whip pan over to here, they can hide a cut in there if they need to. But, you know, we try not to. But if, if you have, you know, there's always those. They, it's a pretty seamless cut if you need to do it. Uh, was it the one where they were on the fire truck and all that? Or? Yeah, that was on a techno crane. It was, we had different marks we had to hit and we were on a track on a techno crane. The problem with that shot, and I'm not gonna uh, bust anybody, but one of the actors, every time we got to that person, he didn't know his lines, and so that caused us to keep doing it time, because Wes was, once Wes gets committed to a shot, he doesn't compromise, he's gonna, get that shot. So the, on that particular shot, we used a techno crane that just was on a track, and we'd go here, then we'd go here, then we'd go here, then we'd go here, you know. Another example of that is, is in Life Aquatic. Uh, there's a scene at the beginning of the film where Bill Murray is coming out of a, a screening uh, of his film, and uh, it was a two shot, and we were on a western dolly that, you know, no track, and we were dollying back with Bill and this other actress, and. The actress was having a hard time with her lines, and it was it, it was a big shot because we were at the Naples, uh, you know, some amazing building in Naples, Italy, and there's huge amounts of extras, and it was very expensive to shoot there. And uh, any other director I would have worked with would have said, "Okay, let's break it up. We'll do a single of Bill, a single of her, and you know, maybe a two shot." You know, but Wes said, "No, I'm doing it on a two shot," and uh, he. I watched him pull a performance out of this woman that was amazing. You know, it was one of my, in my opinion, one of his greatest moments. He just was very calm and said, no, this is what I want to do. And, you know, and even Bill was like, oh man, we're in trouble here, <laughs> you know. And I was nervous too, you know, but he, he pulled it out of her and got the performance. That was perfect. I mean, it took a lot of takes, but it was perfect. So that's gotta count for something. And you know, that's a mark of a great director, I guess. Yes. We had a very long dolly track. Wes is famous for the long dolly track. We shot with uh, Airy 3, I believe. I think we were shooting 150 frames, 156 frames. And uh, our dolly grip is uh, one of my best buddies, a guy named Sanjay Sammy. And uh, Sanjay's done three movies with Wes, four movies with Wes now. And Sanjay was a former uh, Indian rugby player. He's in great shape. <laughs> so Sanjay would push the run with the dolly. I'd be on it with the focus puller. Because uh, Wes likes to do everything kind of old school. You know, everything's old school. We also used a, a rickshaw dolly at times through, you know, the streets of India just because the soft tires you could kind of do things. But he likes things very precise, so that's why we used the regular dolly and the long track on that one. To reach the homeland I think that he uses it in a way to really accentuate what that character is feeling at that time. One by one he has a toll Give up your rights Give up your name And it 
makes you stop and go, oh, wow, and you, you examine it more closely, I think. And, and uh, so he chooses those moments very carefully, you know, and it's like when they're running to the train and Adrian gets on the train, you know, and it's, it's like, a, it's kind of a big moment. So you're passing, everyone thinks this is gonna be a movie about Bill Murray, you know, and, and now Bill Murray's left back in the dust and this is who we're really gonna follow is these guys, you know. And, I think that, well, you know, Wes chooses the shots, but I think he, he just feels that somehow by slowing down the thing, it really accentuates that, it really is pointing to that shot as, a, as an emotional thing. And, and, you know, at the end of Bottle Rocket, when Owen's walking away in the prison, you know, we did it there too, you know. But he chooses those moments very carefully.